On April 4th, 2011, we got a channel that does hardware breakdowns, reviews, skits, and does cinematography well. Today we're taking a look at one of the coolest duos out there on YouTube, GameZack. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by Superhero Game Squad. I really appreciate you being here. So GameSack is made up of two guys that have been friends since high school, Joe and Dave. And with GameSack being the topic at hand today, I want to talk about four things in particular that I think makes them stand out above the rest. The first thing I wanted to talk about is that Joe is a vocal hardcore Sega fanboy and Dave is a hardcore Nintendo fanboy. I love this in the show. You get a sense of a loving rivalry, just as most of us remember having with someone at least at some point in our lives. As a lifelong gamer, as I'm sure many of you are, at some point in your life or in my life, we have argued with someone somewhere about consoles and video games and what's better. So in my opinion, this makes the show that much more relatable. Secondly, the show does killer hardware breakdowns. This was one of the biggest standouts to me when I first discovered the show. The stop motion breaking down of the consoles partnered with beautiful cinematography alongside some intelligent words from Joe is beyond engaging. Game Boy games could also be played in peripherals like the Super Game Boy for the Super NES or the Game Boy Player for the GameCube. The original Super Game Boy, the one that was released in the US, plays games at the wrong speed, however. For someone like me who's not a tech head at all in any way, shape, or form, these segments keep me really engaged with the show, and if they can do that to someone like me who has ADD, who's not a techie person at all and doesn't really care about specs, then they're doing a wonderful job. The next thing is video length. I find that many channels on the internet look for the quick, easy way to get the job done, but not GameSack. Not only does the show go into deep detail about each subject matter, but they do this for long periods of time. Most episodes are at least 20 minutes, and just the other day I watched a 43 minute Game Gear video. Long videos do serve a purpose here, and it just reassures you that they actually care about the subjects and the matters they are talking about at hand. The fourth and final thing that I wanted to talk about was the skits they do at the end of their videos. The reason I find these so important to their channel is that it shows that, while they do some in-depth reviewing and submerge us into deep technical details about video games, at the end of the day, we get reminded that these guys are just two buddies who love making videos about games. It sends you out of the video like, oh yeah, video games are about having fun. Oh come on Dave, it has its uses. It does? Yeah, see? <laughs> oh, wow. Joe, can I borrow this? You sure can. <laughs> You're right, Joe, it does have its uses. Having hung out with the crew of GameSack many times and even having them in some previous videos before, GameSack is good people. And this is even including the wives of Joe and Dave. With that said, if you haven't checked out GameSack, make sure and do so. And if you have already checked out GameSack, I know right now you're nodding in agreement with me that this is a good channel. That is it from Superhero Game Squad for the day. Make sure and like the video if you like the video and to subscribe if you want to see videos about four days a week and also live streams one to two times a week as well. Thank you. We appreciate you being here. Go check out GameSat. Go spread love in the community. I hope you guys have a great, fantastic, wonderful, marvelous day. See ya. I'm out of breath.